Hey y'all, it's Gigi's Wig Wall. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad to have y'all back. I'm glad to be here with you. We're gonna talk about wigs today and we're gonna talk a little bit about makeup also. Um, and I know a lot of y'all have been asking me about a skin line and I think I have found one that I'm going to be investing a lot of time and effort into. Um, so I'll help you um, I hope you get to go on this journey with me to see how it does with my skin. I have been getting, um, I don't know if you can tell with my skin, I've had um, a BBL broadband laser done on my face and I'm coming up to my third treatment. Um, really makes your skin glow, your little brown spots, they'll just, it pulls them out and poof, they're gone. You do have to keep up on this. Like you have to do it probably, like the original time you gotta do it like three times. I mean, there's just no way around it. You have to do that. And then you keep up on it maybe a couple of times a year you do one uh, just to keep those brown um, color off of your face, those little brown marks we get as we age. But anyway, so today I am wearing Upstage. She is so beautiful, guys. This is a Raquel Welch upstage she's a bob of course y'all know that let me just go over some of the things y'all need to know about her um i went out and i went ahead and went with the hand tied cap this is my first hand tied cap i'm very proud to have one i mean people get them and and uh you know they're costly and you know, you may be like, say, okay, well, I'm not going to spend that kind of money, but I think at some point you just have to get a hand-tied cap. So that's what Upstage is. She's 100% hand-tied. Uh, she has the uh, Sheer Indulgence lace front. It's really sheer. You can hardly see. You see how that is? It looks just like my hairline. I'm like so impressed with that. I mean... That just looks like my hairline. Um, and she also has, because she's hand-tied, she's got the full mon monofilament top, and she's got the hand-tied, so if the wind blows, you just look like you've got scalp all over. You don't have the wefting, you don't have anything. And I'm gonna tell y'all, there is a difference with hand-tied. I can just take her, move her. She does whatever I ask her to do. And I do think that's because it's a hand-tied. Now, when I first got her, she was completely, she flipped completely under. And on her own, she has been flipping out. I'm just letting her do what she wants to do because I think that look makes it look the most natural. Let me just take you around and let you look at her. And while I turn, I'll read the specs for you. So, hand-tied cap. She's part of the Signature Collection. Um, she's an average cap size. She is heat friendly uh, synthetic fibers and I can tell that on the back. I um, Carefully she gets a little matted. I carefully comb her out and maybe even put a little silkening spray on it So the comb goes through the wide tooth comb goes through you've got to be cautious with this synthetic fiber and not only uh, do I do that, but I have taken a wand to her and just like touched the ends in the back when I got when I got finished using it and it just bonds the little uh, frayed edges back together. So she is a very high quality um, wig and I'm very excited to have her. So uh, density is light to medium and that's not that, that that's serious. I mean, I'm running my hands. She's not, you know, you know, Raquel Welch gives you a lot of hair. They just are they're full and lush wigs. But as far as how this one goes, there's not a lot of density. I mean, you're just, I mean, there it is. Let's do the finger. It's not far down. You don't, it doesn't have a big profile. And in the back, you know, there's no, with it being hand tied, there's no permatease. So, she is a light density, light to medium. So on the front here, she's a seven and a half inches, right here, seven and a half inches. This is just beautiful face framing. Never for one time did this, was this a face flopper, not once. Not 
not at the the shop that I went and tried her on, not straight out of the box, never. And she's never tried to do that. And I think that's that hand tied, the way they place those fibers that they're just naturally in that uh, hairstyle it's supposed to be baked in. Uh, her crown is nine and a half back here, and that would start up here. Her sides are nine. Her back is nine inches, Let's shake her. Her nape is six and a half. Now y'all know I always like, I'm a four and a half inch, four to four and a half inch nape girl, but this thing is just so beautiful and so glorious. You just couldn't resist it. I couldn't resist it when I got there. What happened is I went to a shop. This is the side here. I went to a shop over in Tampa. Ended up not being a shop. Ended up being a little house in the neighborhood. But the lady in there was just precious. She had an inventory. I had a whole long list of ones I wanted to try on. Been writing all over it. I mean, I acted like I was going to Misty and Kim's, you know, to a place that had a huge inventory. But got there, she had a good amount of inventory. She had like six of them on my list. And so I said, well, you know, things I've been wanting to try on are, have been Eclat, Simmer, Esprit, Mellow. Um, but I had her, I had uh, this one on my list. She pulled it out and I put it on and it was like, wow. That's, I gotta have it, just got to, would be my first hand tied. She is three, she's only 3.2 ounces with all this luscious hair. So um, that's a very light wig on 3.2 ounces. When you get to this amount of, of hair and style, you get it closer to like 3.75. Uh, you get a little length on it, it's four ounces, and this is not that at all, it's 3.2. Um, this is in, of course, as everybody knows, Shaded Biscuit. It is my favorite color. Um, it's just one of the most beautiful mixes of, of the right colors. And let me, let me see if it'll let me read that to y'all, what it is. It's not Ice Latte. It's Shaded Biscuit, Light Ash Blonde, which you can see in it, evenly blended with Cool Platinum Blonde. So you see the ash, you see the platinum, right? And then it has um, darker roots. And you see how those roots just fade into that hairstyle. Yeah. Can you see that? So I love her. She is special occasion. Not quite special occasion. She's at least, she's like, date night, you know, this is what I'm going to wear her for. And I, I wore to church today on Sunday, um, cause she just feels so luxurious and I wanted to wear her. And, um, and when we were driving to church, I don't know, those of you that follow me that live around me, I don't know if y'all have seen the pictures of Proud Gator, but an ambulance went through Proud Gator two nights ago going pretty fast. And uh, the EMS guys got hurt, had to be taken to the hospital. I mean, the whole west side of, well, the whole right side of the store, okay, is gone. I mean, just decimated. I'm so glad that Roy was not still running that store. We would be dealing with inventory. The building was owned by the Donatellis, and bless their heart, they've got that to deal with, but... What a sight. Anyway, I diverge. I went off on a tangent. She's just gorgeous. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the inside of her cap when I put on another wig for you. And I have two more to show you. Um, I think I'm going to show you. I'm not sure if I'm going to show you Link yet. I'm wondering if I need to give her a little bath. I mean, I've been wearing her a lot. She's really cute. But I also have one, uh, a Beltrass Costa Rica and Butterbeer Blonde that I'm going to show you up next. But here is Upstage. Isn't she pretty? I love her. So nice. Anyway, 
So I'll be coming right back to show you the inside of the, the cap and I'll be wearing Costa Rica, which she's a fun one too. All right, give me a second. Give me two seconds. Okay, I'm back. Now I have Beltrass Costa Rica on, but I'm gonna show you the inside of the cap of um, Upstage. So here's my beautiful, beautiful, luxurious wig. Um, you can see she has the monofilament top with the beautiful lace front. That lace front is not scratchy. It's, it's just like, like it's growing right out of your head. And then, as you can see, she's got the ear tabs on the each side with the metal stays, of course. Um, but then there she is with all her hand-tied uh, goodness all over. So, if you're wearing her outside and the wind blows your hair in the back, say it is. Right now, there's no wind blowing. All it's doing is burning holes in us. But if you were, if you, we get some windy weather and it blows, it looks like scalp in the back that shows when they blow. So there's no wefting back there. It's just like it's the back of your head. They have gotten so good with these. They have come so far. Now it looks like there's some few, like a few little rows of wefts at the bottom and how they've explained that is the wefts um, keep the hair out so it keeps its construction of its hairstyle that it's supposed to have. But this is just, I mean, luxury in a cap. Fits perfectly. I had to bring her down a little bit. In fact, I'm gonna need to bring her back. Um, as they, the first time I put them on, they may fit okay. I have like a 21 and a half inch head. I used to think I had a 22, but I don't. It's 21 and a half. So I always have to bring them in a little bit, but as I wear them, then I have to cinch them a little bit more because they loosen up. Now, you're not going to have a lot of stretch, I will tell you, because it's hand-tied. There's nothing stretchy here. So if you are a large, this is not going to work, but I do believe they have upstage in large. I, I know they have it in petite, and I'm pretty sure they have it in large. You have some stretch, but it's very minimal. So, but she is just beautiful. So glad I got her. Happy to have her. So, and I, I have to say, this is going to make me think more about getting hand-tied hand caps, which will be an investment in itself, but uh, they make just such a difference. So, things I want to point out before I move on, some of the jewelry that I'm wearing. Uh, this is Julie Voss, Julie Voss, Julie Voss. Uh, I've really got into Julie Voss. Now, I'll put... Uh, in the links below, I'll put um, a link to Julie Voss so you can look at it. She just released her new uh, line for the fall. Uh, she had some cute little gator earrings that we've got the gator gathering coming up that I bought, uh, which I think will be really, really uh, nice and representative of the University of Florida, and I can wear them for the season, too. So, just cute. I, they have a gator collection, like I don't know. Anyway, who cares? It works well. So, I am wearing right now Costa Rica by Beltress in Butterbeer Blonde. So, let me tell you, when I went to my little store that I thought was a store, it ended up being a house with a yard not, not mowed and cars sitting in the front, front yard and um, made my friend sit in the car with the car running while I went and checked it out. Ended up, like I said, lovely, lovely lady. When I got in there, she gave me a full consultation, pulled out all kinds of inventory, lovely little dressing room space, so I certainly wanted to give her business, and she did have inventory. But I was sitting there, I'd made my decision on upstage, and I'm sitting there, and my friend and I are talking, and I look over on a mannequin, and I see this one, and she just hung so nicely. I loved her little fringe front. Uh, I thought it was sassy. But still having, you know, I mean, I love pixies. I love the really short ones, but not everybody loves that on me. Like my grandchildren, they're always like, wear the ones with hair. Do it long. I mean, they will now compliment me if I have a long one on. So I know it's important to them. And when you wear wigs, you know, you do wear them some for yourself. But it's funny, if I know I'm gonna be with certain people and I know what's their favorite ones, I try to wear that. So, you know, like my friend said, 
if I'm going to have to tolerate looking at it, we're the ones I like. So, so anyway, I thought, well, that's nice. She's got a nice full fringe. She's still short, but she's got a little glamour to her. Um, and I can just tell you, like, you look at the front. It's a great hairline. I think I have that right there. I could straighten out, but it's a beautiful hairline. Um, she's got wonderful fibers. I put her on and moved her around, and she just immediately complied. I mean, not not fighting. This wasn't flopping. It was just it went right back and sat real well. And I'll, I'll show you the back. It's got a little Dorothy Hamill look in the back, which gives it a little sass. And then it's just a nice little nape. I wouldn't mind if the nape was tighter on my neck. I like a tight nape. Uh, I think it gives the profile a very sharp look. But this one um, looks pretty, looks really good, I think. Um, so she's in Butterbeer Blonde. I've always wanted to try this color. The thing is, is I don't know that you can get her off of like wigs.com or wigstudio.com. I think you're going to have to either go to a store or you're going to have to go to maybe Mimi's and I can't swear that Mimi's has it because I believe they're going to discontinue her, uh, which is so sad, you know, and this is called the perfectly unbalanced medium bob because you got all this adds a, a twist with the asymmetrical loose waves. These are heat friendly fibers, but because you're not going to have them down on your clothes, it's got a shape, short nape, they will last you longer. Uh, it's got a unique knotting method to keep the hair away from the face, and it really does. I mean, that's the test. When you can do that, and this doesn't come over, you've got a good wig. But even if you don't, you can train them, but if some of them, they're really you know, hard to train. I will tell you that you may be able to get this one off of Wig Outlet. Outlet, And Wig Outlet are returned wigs that maybe have some product in them and they refurbish them and they sell them for a much cheaper price. So if you really, really like her, you may be able to get her. Um, so um, it, it's the Cafe Collection Colors. It's a perfect gem to take on your vacation in Costa Rica. Well, that's fun. All right, let me give you her her uh, measurements and her specs. So she is six to six and a half inches here in her fringe. Very nice. Her nape is two to th two point three inches, which that's a nice nape. I mean, you don't once you get back, you know. Like I said, I don't want them more than like four, four and a half. And if you're doing it short, if you're doing like a pixie cut or a shorter cut, uh, one and a half to two and a half, if your hair will allow you to, I have a high hairline. Um, those are the best for napes. Now it says the back is from six to 11 inches. I don't know where they're, they're in a hair on here that's 11 inches. It's not on here. I don't know if they're measuring from the crown just to the bottom of the haircut and calling it 11 inches, but there's not a hair on this thing that's 11 inches. Nowhere to be found. So let me show you the back. The little Dorothy Hamill curls. I feel like I should put some, uh, she'd be running across an Olympic gym. Now did Dorothy do, did she do gymnastics? I think so. It's the cutest little hairstyle. And then this, this is very nice too. Just love her. Easy to wear. Uh, we went to the George Strait concert just recently and I wore this and it was not too hot and, and that was a hot concert. Now we were we were up close to the uh, entrance into the High Undy Club, so that was good. But it was anyway. Anyway, so she is, it doesn't say what collection she's from. Let me go over here to the wig outlet and see what I can find for you. Oh, there she is. And guys, she's 90, she's 99, $100. $100. And let's see of what colors they have. She's 66% off. She's a closeout 
so no sales or exchanges. But I love her. It's a pretty color in cocoa with cherry. If you're like if you like dark hair, she's got a 5.0 review, so that means everybody's happy with her. And um, so, or you may be able to find like on Sister Wigs something like that, um, one that you can trade out or buy from others. Um, I've got so many I need to I need to start selling them, but you know it's kind of hard to let them go. You know, just never know when you may need it. Anyway, so Costa Rica Bell Tress Butter Beer Blonde. Love the color. Look at her rooting. Let me look what Butter Beer Blonde says it is, the color, so you'll know what it is. Taking me a minute. Let me try here. Hmm. Not coming up so easy. Okay, so, okay, here it is uh, in Beltras. Let me see what it says. Sugar cookie, honey chai latte, tres lace, root bill flow, cream soda, butter real blonde. It's a cool, light blonde. It's definitely cool. It's on the cool side. And light ash blonde, which you can see that in here. With golden blonde, you can see the streaks with the medium brown root. And she's got a nice um, scalp root. She is uh, wefted in the back. She's not a full hand tied, but she's a very nice lace front, monofilament, uh, left hand side, and then uh, open uh, cap. I'll show you that when I throw on the link that I'm gonna show y'all as the final one. I'm just not sure if I need to show y'all the link this time or show her the next time. What I may do is go ahead and show her to you and then Give her a good wash and bring her back out and see if you can tell the difference, you know. All right, so give me a minute and I'll be right back with Link. Give me two minutes. Well, I'm just going to have to do it myself. Well, my little remote uh, stopped working on me, for me. In the background, you're here, you'll hear Roy trying to get a golf day for hitting some balls. But we're just gonna ignore him and go right on with ours. Okay, so here is my little Costa Rica on the inside of the cap. She's got a uh, left monofilament top with the lace, which, you know, I wasn't sure, lace front, I wasn't sure how Beltress would be. I knew how Rachel did, I mean, Raquel Welch did. I knew how Gabor did. I knew how Ellen Villa did. But this was going to be new for me. And she's a nice, soft front. It's not hard or scratchy at all. And that's very important. She is an open, wefted cap with the side tabs with the metal stays in them. She has the bra strap um, uh, tighteners. Now, I will tell you, I noticed the little hairs come through the weft a little bit more than some of my others. And I think it's maybe because the wefts are a little further apart uh, just on the cap construction, but got plenty of stretch. Um, I have her grown up pretty, pretty good because she has so much stretch, and I do like mine tight on my head. I've gotten used to it, and um, if those of you that suffer with headaches at first, maybe you don't want to do that. Um, maybe you want to um, be careful with ones that are hot tied on your head. That's just something to know that you have to be careful of. But once you get to wearing them, I remember I had a, a couple of headaches first time I wore them. Once you get to wearing them, you don't have headaches anymore. But anyway, that's this cute little Costa Rica. She's just turned out to be a little beauty and I'm so glad to have her. She's fun to wear and easy to wear. Throw. She is a throw and go and you gotta have those. Now, what I'm wearing now is Link by Ellen Villa. All right, so Link, first off, I want to talk about Ellen Villa. I love Ellen Villa. 
oh my gosh, she just does not fail. She's really good at the short styles. Her fiber, I the synthetic fibers, even though this is a heat friendly one, but if I just have regular synthetic ones, they're so light and easy to move. Um, I know I, I've um, shown y'all Ocean. Ocean is this long style with flips and, and layering, and she is just beautiful. And she remains beautiful with that synthetic, you know, there's no fuss, no muss. She doesn't fray. I mean, she's going to be one of those that lasts a long, long time. So, I love Ellen Villa. They just really have good products all the way around. So, this is Link in Ellen Villa. And I like to be a little sassy with my colors. Um, I, you know, we're getting older. We have to be all conservative. Well, I, you know what? I think we can do some fun colors. So, she is an asymmetrical pixie that I got in pastel rose rooted. Now, you may not be able to see the pink in it, but it's there. It's very light. It catches in some light. It always shows up like on these fringe edges. It'll, it'll show up like you can see there's a little different color there. Um, certain light, you can see the pink. Once in a while, somebody say, is that pink? And you're like, yeah, it's a little pink pastel. So I love her, love her a lot. Um, she is heat friendly. I have worn her. Now, let me tell y'all, she's full of product. Uh, she's at least at, you know, I've worn her 20 times. So, you know, 20 times means you need a bath. Uh, so she's full of product. And she, so she easily moves, easily moves wherever I want her to. Um, she is part of their Perucci line, which I've got quite a few of those and very nice. Um, she has the mini lace front. That means that she doesn't go all the way across with the lace front, but you don't need her. You need just where you're dealing with the part, you know, because the rest of it is not a back off your face look. Like upstage in Costa Rica, you, you can throw them off your face. This style is not meant to do that. This style is meant to be edgy and wild and asymmetrical and you can calm her down and do her smoother but then you can also puff her up and be much more edgy with her which I like the I like that edgy look definitely and she moves easily she goes where you tell her to she stays she's very malleable um she has a mono part she has the basic wefted cap so basically what you were seeing here with the Costa Rica, except she has the mini lace, which would be just right here where the part is. Um, she is a petite average. She is, Ellen Villa does petite average um, styles. I think with their new ones that have just come out, like Nobles, um, oh, what's the other one? Can't remember, but they're maybe not as snug, but that's why I like uh, the Ellen Villa because they feel like they fit you snug and it's not going to come off. Of course, you got to have a wig grip. You got to do the things that make it not move. It is heat, heat friendly synthetic fibers. The front is five and a half inches. That would be right here. That's that's the only place it's five. The crown, which the crown is six, it's just barely six if it is. So let me show you that. Six. Okay. The sides are one and a half. They're short, which that gives that cute little profile about it. It lends to being a bit of a boy cut. Um, the crown being six, six inches is not a boy cut, but the sides are. Okay, and the nape is 1.75 inches. Let me puff this up. So this is a nice, tight nape. I love a good tight nape. It adheres very close. Um, those of you that grow a, a, a long hairline, that 1.75 may be an issue. So those are pixies you need to be looking for in the two, two and a half if you want a pixie. But I have a, a very short one. So, and then this of course is the 1.75 on the side. Um, she goes behind the ear. I love that. And then this is that little drama in front of it. She weighs 2.3 ounces. 
Yeah, she barely, she barely weighs anything. So, she's very nice. She's got the pink. I do love a pixie. I just think it's striking on people when you see people in pixies. Not everybody loves them. My husband loves them. In fact, he doesn't really want me to wear the long ones, but he knows I have to do that because I want to. And um, I just do. And, you know, and it's, weeds are almost seasonal. I mean, it's pixie season right now because it's dadgum 100 degrees outside. So you need, you don't got to have stuff off your neck. And um, so, but you'll come up to the cooler, cooler winter. It won't be that cool here, but it will be cooler. And um, I'll, I'll do more of the long ones and more dramatic looking. So looks like we've had fun today. I've talked about all kinds of stuff. So you can follow any of my little people that I follow and you can find out more information. This is just the stuff I've learned. I, I am I am immersed in wigs. I love them. I love to study the specs and understand about them. They're just really enjoyable. You can look you can have a look of whatever you want. I do want to give a plug to another YouTube. If you're watching me, you're a YouTuber probably. Um, not only do you like wigs, but you like YouTube. So I am watching um, a young lady by the name of Shara, Shara, S-H-A-R-A-L-E-E, -E, Shara Lee's Box of Chocolate. And she's been helping me with uh, instructions on makeup. I mean, she does like two videos a week. Um, they're just very pleasant. It's like getting ready with her and her talking about different things in her life. Um, I just give you a big plug. I'll give her a big plug. Reach out and follow her. She's really fun to watch. She uh, had me do, well, not me personally, but I wanted to wear pink today to church. So I did my makeup like the instructions she had. Oh, and this is like, you know, she tells you the right um she tells you the right products to get, how to mix your eye shadow. I, I'm not good at that, but she will tell you, okay, this goes with this. This will look like this. This is how to do your palette. And uh, so she's been a lot of fun. But next time I come back on, I'm probably going to have washed link. I'll show her you the inside of the cap. She's a basic left-sided monofilament top, left-sided part, mini lace. Uh, not anything uh, spectacular like upstage. But it's been great being with y'all here today, and I'll be coming back with some more reviews. I think I have, I've written a list of all the ones I've not reviewed, and I've got a few more to show you. Um, but I was surprised how many I had already reviewed. I'm going to try to keep doing them three at a time. It seems like that's what people really like the best. If there's, and also my up, upcoming skincare. Um, program that I'm going to follow will be coming up and I'll show you some other products that I'm taking to help with my skin, biotin, nails, and your hair. I mean, I'm never going to stop wearing, a wi wearing wigs. I love them. I mean, they just give you drama. But I want my hair healthy too and some of the things I'm taking for that. All right. Well, thanks for having me. It was good being with you. It's bye-bye from Gigi's Wigwall. See you next time.